Okay, back to the bread and butter now. Back to the league. I'm relieved to be back back with Watford after that South Africa, um, well, nightmare really with the first two games. So we're playing away to uh, Middlesbrough, and I've decided to play this team as you can see on the screen. And I've decided to go with Miyashi in Forest I actually, have, I'm going a bit off of Kuna. I don't think he scores enough goals. I don't think he's good enough to be honest. So I'm probably going to end up selling him at some point. And he's done okay. He's not terrible. But I think we need to better if we want to get in the Premier League, or if we, you know, when we get to the Premier League, we need better than that. And um, well, we're just going to try and sign a striker definitely in January for next season, and maybe for this season as well. We'll probably try and sign Wells in January for this season, and then we'll try and sign um, Emnes on a free for next season. Um, so anyway, off we go against Middlesbrough. Oh, he's got pace. He has got pace. Varga. No! Oh my god! 1 0 to Middlesbrough out of nowhere. We couldn't cope with Varga. He has awesome pace. And then what a header from Car Carriol. Or Carroll, I think it is. Carriol. Lovely header. We just couldn't catch up with him at all. And that's a really good goal, to be honest. Gugan. Come on. Arini! Yes! Get in there! Come on! 1-1. One, one. We've got to start winning again, guys. Come on, we've got to get back into this winning run. And Arini scores again. He always seems to score important goals. And he just tucks inside and smashes a thunderbolt past the keeper. 1-1. One, one. Nice. Come on, play that through, Miyuchi. Come on, Fabrini. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. My grand can finish better than that, Fabrini. That is horrific, mate. Improve your finishing, please. Please, that is dog shit. There wasn't much cover, but he got the ball, the defender, in the wide position. Nice play. Oh, look at this run from Forrest Deary. Keep going. Forrest Deary! Super goal, Asso! Forrest Deary! What a goal! He just ran and ran and ran and ran. And then the finish was just beautiful. Look at that beautiful finish. Bottom corner. And there's the half-time whistle. I'm really impressed with that first half display. Apart from the goal early on, which was actually a decent goal. Uh, we've been in full control here. And we probably could have been more than 2-1 up. But both goals were lovely goals from Marini and especially Forrest Deary's goal. So hopefully we can continue this form into the second half. Goal news from Bolton. Alan It's a goal for Brighton and Hove Albion. McGugan! There must have been 40 passes leading up to this one. And the home team about to make a change. Nice. Surely he's gonna score here. Oh, come on, Miyashi. Come on! Yes! Get in there! 3 1. And Miyashi with the goal. I think McGugan set it up. Brilliant football. And now we're, in, we're running away with this match. And Miyashi's been on fire in this game. And look. He gets tackled into it, I think, and there he just funders it. Clinical finish from Meishi. 3 1. Nice play. Come on, Anya. Come on, edit. Volley. Oh, wow, what a save. Brilliant save. And there's the full time whistle. What a result. 3 1 away to Middlesbrough. To be honest, Middlesbrough gave us a good game, especially second half. They have some really pacey players. Uh, Cariel, Emnez, Kamara. Really fast and attacking players, but we managed to deal with it and we've come away with a very good 3 1 victory. So, on to the next game, guys. What is up, guys? This is JC Fever 7, and welcome to this Empire Championship match between Watford and Doncaster. This is the team that I'm going to be playing. I think the only player off form is Angela, the rest of them are on form. It's pretty much the same team as the last match against Middlesbrough, so off we go. Over the last couple of weeks, confidence has been low. Goal news from Brighton. No, 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 no. Oh my god. How poor was that? That was such poor defending.
probably our worst goal we've conceded this season. That is just piss poor. Oh my word, what am I doing? Come on, Forest Theory. Nice. Yeshu! Save no! Oh! I'll play it. Nice! Oh, wow. Lovely taken shot. And he's just pumped. Pudil! Oh, my! What a, what a shot! What a shot! Come on, lads. Oh. And there's the half time whistle. My God, guys. We're losing 1 0 thanks to a terrible defensive error from me. Um, don't know what I was doing to be honest. Just had one of them moments. Um, but we got into the game and definitely don't deserve to be losing. So hopefully in the second half we can just grab some goals. Toshio. Patoshio! Oh, what a save from Turnbull. Ross Turnbull there, tipping it round. Oh, come on, for Forestieri! Oh, my God! Oh, come on. Pudo! That's a corner, right? God damn, people. We have lost 1 0 to Doncaster. At home, probably our worst performance. Well, not I would say our worst performance, but our worst result of the season because we, I would expect us to get a result at home against Doncaster, at least a draw, but most probably a win. And we didn't because of that error there. We created so many chances, we were unlucky, but I just felt like the start of the season when we couldn't find the goal, it just felt like that again. If you watched my series from the start of the season, at the start I was really struggling to score. We went through a spell of scoring a lot of goals, and now. Um, in this match just really reminded me of back then when we couldn't score any goals um, but anyway thanks for watching this episode guys and uh, yeah on to the next episode we go like subscribe please um, comment share with your friends and all that stuff so yeah see you soon bye